Hi, you're on Pogus Pog, and this is DevScopes. A rapid and quick show and tell on the use of DevOps tools in at most 3 minutes. So if this tickles your fancy, click the subscribe button. So let's get into it. Imagine Docker. I don't have the time to write Docker config files from scratch, so I rely on registry or repository for pre-made and extensible Docker images that I can use as base. Modules in there from registry works around the same concept. So let me switch to my browser and show you what I mean. This is Terraform Registry. If I click Browse Modules, the page will provide a list of pre-baked Terraform modules that are maintained and managed through GitHub and available here on Terraform Registry. I want to create an S3 bucket using an existing module. So if I type S3 on this search field, this will render a list of options for providers and modules. So if I head over to modules and select the first option in the list, which is this one, this is the pre-baked module that I will use to create my S3 bucket. So now let me switch to my terminal and start using the module. First thing I'll do is create a directory to put my Terraform code in. So I'll create a directory called S3 bucket in here. CD to that new directory. Now I'll open VS Code from this directory and do the rest of the work with my VS Code. And then from here, I'll open Terminal. And then as usual, I'll create my Terraform config templates by running my create template script. Now that I have a base template code to use, let me switch back to my browser. And then on this page, the section that I'm interested in is the provision instructions, which is right here. So if I copy that and then head back to my VS Code, and then open main.tf and paste the code that I've copied from the browser. This module has a long list of input variables, but I'll be using the basic properties to show you how I can use this module. I'll be setting the bucket and the ACL properties. And now I can start running my usual Terraform commands. So let me just close this explorer and firstly export my AWS profile and then run my Terraform commands. I'm getting that usual missing binary version, so I'll fix this with running asdf local command to set up my Terraform binary. Now I'll run my Terraform commands, run my Terraform plan. Let's just expand this terminal to see what the output is. Yeah, that's successful. Now run my Terraform apply. Now that all my Terraform commands are successful, let's switch back to my browser and connect my AWS web console to check and ensure that the S3 bucket has been created. So on my AWS web console, refresh this page. And that's my S3 bucket. And that's my three minutes. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Until next time, keep learning and stay safe. See ya.